Hey guys, what's up? X Purify Clan here. Um, I'm gonna show you guys real quick how you can use your PS3 controller, like I got right here, um, using just your PS3 controller or Xbox 360 controller. And I, I don't know how it works with Xbox 360. I mean, the program out you're gonna I'm gonna show you later is gonna be the exact same way. But uh, for PS3 controller, you're just gonna need the thing that you plug in to charge your thing. So. Yeah, so pretty much like I said, it's all you're gonna need. And then this is just my controller, my modded PS2 controller. Um, so, yeah, so let me go to the program and I'll show you guys how to do it. Hey guys, so now that we're back on my desktop screen, so we go, we go. That's just the folder I put it all in, uh, the PS2 controller. So you want to, whenever you, I'll have the link and all that stuff in the description for you guys. Um, whenever you download this, that'll be what you'll end up importing. I'll explain that later, so don't even worry about that right now. Um, that's what you'll end up getting to, but y you'll get all this. What you're going to do is you're going to want to run this application first off. And I'm not going to do that because I've already done all that stuff. And once you've just run that application and you've got all that stuff done, you're going to get this DS3 tool. And you're going to go ahead and open up that DS3 tool. And... There you go. So you can see I already have my controller plugged in, and so it's, you can recognize it. So, um, it's so that's pretty much what you just gotta plug it in. It should recognize it. Once it recognizes it, you're just gonna want to push this little bubble for custom, and then you're gonna want to push create. And I already have all my stuff set up, and so that's pretty much that. Now the import thing I was telling you about would be right there. Is where you'd end up importing. It's on your desktop. You just go to your desktop and you'd find uh, your desktop folder and you'd find that right there, and you just import it. But the uh, buttons on that aren't all correct, so if you you can either go ahead and go ahead and import that and it'll just give you a head start, or you can just completely start from scratch and copy my layout right here because my layout is really good. Like it pretty much works for mainly all like the gun games and stuff like that, um, for PC gaming and stuff. Um, and you can always just go back here, and if there's there, usually if there's something wrong, there'll just be a couple buttons you can just go and change, and it's not very hard and difficult at all. So I'll just keep throwing up down just here for a couple seconds, just so you guys can um, pause this and copy all this down for because these are really good button layouts right here. All right, so and then pretty much you would after you do all that, you're gonna want to save it, and I have to just just you just save you can make it whatever you want. And then you push enable, and after you push enable, it'll be your right analog stick, the right one. And right now, on my on my keyboard, this is my PS3 controller. I'm using the right analog stick, and I'm just moving it around. And this is my PS3 controller right now. And then so um, R1 is pretty much just clicking on it, and you can just go through it here. So like R1 is left mouse click, L1 is right mouse click, and all that stuff. So it just works like that. And um, so that's. That's pretty much it, and if you do have troubles with this, because I know I did at first, what you're going to want to do, let me go back home real quick. So, if what you're going to do is, um, I think it was you pushed enable or something like that, and then, I, I'm not too positive, you might just want to push enable, just, yeah, just push enable just to be safe, and if you do know it works, and if you push vibration test, your controller should vibrate. And that's when you know it's connecting all that stuff, and like mine just vibrated right there. Um, but you want to do is you're going to go to Driver Manager, and I don't know why I did that at the time, but I don't know why I did that. Just ignore what just happened. <laughs> but when you see that 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 right there is your controller, not your driver. You want to click on that check mark, and you're going to want to click Load Driver, and just give it a second here. As you can see, it said load completed. That's just just in case if your load, like your driver, didn't like load on your con your computer, stuff like that. That'll load all your drivers, and then that pretty much. Then yeah, you go home. You should push enable, and then your controller should work for it, and it should get all that. And that's it just if that didn't come up, that should work then. And if not, my friend also had the problem. It might be like the um the USB thing. So what he had to do. Was he had to go to Bluetooth pair, and he had to go to here, and see how mine's already there. You had to just go and find the um, uh, the USB thing, and it should be there. 
and when it's there you just click on it and you would just push pair now and then it should do that and he said it worked after then so that's pretty simple and easy right there um i really hope this guy's helped i really hope this helped a lot of you guys out i know it's makes gaming a lot easier for me because i mean if you're used to controller and not a mouse i mean it makes it so much easier plus you end up having an advantage for kind of accuracy and stuff like that so uh yeah please comment and subscribe guys for some more videos let me know what kind of videos you do want i know i haven't been on ps3 for a long time for you guys though and just to clarify this, the clan is still on PS3, but it is also on PC also. That's just what I was saying. So we're still on PS3. We just we haven't been on there for a while. Um, I actually do want to say that X Purified Mods was last night working on a um, bypass zombies game mode where the zombies are Teletubbies. So when that comes out, I'll make sure to let you guys know, and I'll definitely get you guys in that lobby. So. Uh, it should be just about it, and so please comment or subscribe, guys. Um, I really hope this helped you guys out, because I know really know it helped me out. So uh, thanks, guys, and stay tuned. Love you.